Hello, my name is Nicholas signing on. The subject is synthol and polymethyl methacrylate. I will use this short for PMMA. Both are different, but also used for a cosmetic appeal, whether in bodybuilding or even for anti-aging. However, both of these things have side effects, can cause deformity and even death. So before I continue, what is synthol? How is it used? Why is it used? And what are the benefits, side effects, and all things? To be more specific, what is synthol? Depending on the class of synthol, it is described as a site enhancement. An oil used by bodybuilders, or anyone for that matter, increases the circumference temporarily. Injection sites, regions, meaning the biceps, triceps, and quadriceps. Synthol consists of benzyl alcohol, oil, approximately 85% oil, medium chain fatty acid, lidocaine, also known as a pain reliever, but not everything is listed. So basically, curl hydrate, an organic compound used as a sedative and hypnotic pharmaceutical drug, a useful precursor, also was replaced by barbiturates. Menthol is an organic compound, solid at room temperature, and can act as an anesthetic. 1,2-dimoxybenzene is known as an organic compound. It is a colorless liquid, medium solubility in water. And final, dihydroxybenzene, synthesis of pharmaceuticals and other organic compounds acting as a template molecule in supramolecular chemistry. Also, the side groups, the OH groups, can help form hydrogen bonds to target molecules. Now, I wanted to present a research article titled Painful Muscle Fibrosis Following Synthol Injections by a Bodybuilder. So as noted, synthol is a site enhancement oil used by bodybuilders to boost whatever cosmetic appearance, temporarily, of course. This case presented a 29-year-old male following intramuscular injections of synthol, and he experienced painful pressure in his right upper arm. His muscle appeared disfigured. Magnetic Renaissance imaging revealed scattered cystic fatty lesions in the muscle. The affected part was surgically removed. So here's an actual image, the inhomogeneous contrast enhancement of the biceps muscle indicates the presence of inflammation. So in other words, the synthol embedded in some way. And so one would ask, well, why don't remove part of it or something? Well, the area where it was injected can spread. So the muscle fibers showed pronounced myopathic changes while the connective tissues contained vacuoles with infiltrates. Higher magnification reveals the inflammatory infiltrates in the connective tissue and with intermingled connective tissue and vacuoles. So the conclusion, although the use of synthol by bodybuilders supplies them with a desired short-term effects, the compound progressively destroys the injected muscle. Users are frequently drawn to synthol as it does not share the side effects of androgenic anabolic steroid hormones. However, our case study demonstrates that, despite these perceived advantages, synthol can also have severe and potential life-threatening consequences for its users. And I will add this article on my official website or in the description box. Now moving on to polymethyl methacrylate, PMMA. It consists of approximately 20% tiny PMMA microspheres, microscopic synthetic polymer beads, suspended in 70 to 80% of purified bone vine cow collagen gel. Where is this injected? It's usually used for penile growth in men, the enlargement, also in the face, lips, to promote fullness, also used by women in the glutes, or different regions, for example, for men, possibly in the biceps. Now when it comes to the dosage, commonly, 1cc syringes maintain a certain level of control. Acids may migrate, causing serious side effects. But how does PMM injections actually work? Well, it requires a form of collagen and in encapsulating PMMA microspheres or beads, and it's injected in soft tissue structure. 
allowing the bonding to occur. So what I want you to visualize is jelly, jam, you know, the stuff we eat. And just imagine you're injecting, let's just say, something in there that, well, is foreign. It may act to hold it into position to allow whatever benefit. However, with a lot of things that are, well, foreign in nature, it may cause severe side effects like acute and severe infection, uneven, non-homeogeneous penile shape, dislocation of the injected with disproportional spreading of the content, as seen in this picture. An unpredictable amount and areas of the absorption may result in disproportionate shape deformity. In women, possibly in the glute area or even the lips, buildup of multiple lumps and bumps, severe fibrosis and internal scarring, damage to arteries and veins because this can actually be absorbed in the body and spread or even circulate to organs, causing organ failure and even death. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the webinar, and I just want to say thank you so much for attending, being silent, <laughs> because last time I could hear people talking in the background, and I really don't care for stuff like that. But there is a lot of information going around about synthol and PMMA, and other things are going to come out, especially on the internet, but it's really interesting to know what people are doing, and it just shows you sometimes at least with men because often women get pounded for doing fillers but men they can get away with injecting their body and god knows what other areas and are not really even focused on you know some of these men need to stop being so fucking lazy and go and work out i don't know so tell me what you think thank you for attending and stay safe